Hey guys, welcome back to Tying Tuesday. My name is Kyle. Today we're going to be tying the Evil Wizard. Um, it's a great little dropper pattern. Uh, I got inspiration for this pattern from Ben Baxter's Bearded Betis, um, a new fly from Umqua. Uh, I want to give a shout out to him. Kind of give me the inspiration for this guy. Like I said, it's a great dropper pattern. It would be a great fly under a Euro rig. Uh, let's get started. So hook I'm going to use today on this guy is a 5045 jig force hook. It's a short shank jig hook in a size 16. And then the bead I'm using on this guy is going to be a 2.8764 matte black. Uh, thread I'm going to be using for today is a nano silk 50 to near in black. Let's get started here. I'm going to start my thread right behind the bead here. Let's get it started. Snip out my tag. And I'm gonna put a good thread base right behind this bead to kind of lock it in place. Kind of hold your finger and your thumb there to kind of hold it in place and it'll, until it stops moving on you, just like that. And then I'm gonna work my thread down the shank here. about right there next material i'm going to put in here is a cdl for my tailing fiber about i don't know six or seven six or seven fibers here tie this in just like so looks good right there and i'm going to tie this all the way up to the bead here like that and trim out my excess CDL here there we go all right I'm gonna next add my ribbing which is gonna be a brassy ultra wire in the color red it's right along the side of the shank here just get it started there. Just work it down. Just touching wraps and kind of wire covered there. Come back up towards the bead. And then I'm going to add in my next material, which is going to be a Vivas holographic tinsel in black in the size medium. Tie this in right here. Work that back. I'm gonna work my thread back up towards the bead, Just like that. All right, now I'm gonna overhand wrap my tinsel right up towards the bead there. Just touching wraps because we're covering all the thread and stuff that's underneath here so definitely want to be hiding that capture that right there trim out my trim out my tinsel there and then I'm gonna counter wrap my wire Make sure these are nice and spaced out and even. You gotta go back and kinda reposition it. Don't be afraid to. And then capture that wire. A few wraps behind, a few wraps in front. And then I'm just gonna helicopter this off. All right. At this time, I like to take my Solar Res Bone Dry, the brush on application. It's super ultra thin resin and kind of coat that body before I add any of the collar and the last finishing touches on this guy. So I'm just taking your Solar Res Bone Dry. Just coating that body there. And I just like to kind of take my fingers and give it a little dab there. There we go. 
hit it with the light. All right. I'm actually gonna put a flashback on this fly. Still using that same Vivas holographic tinsel in black in the size medium. I'm gonna put that right in the slot of that bead. Kinda keep it straight right on top of the shank there. Just like that. Get that locked in. And next material is gonna be my ostrich hurl in color black. And I usually trim the tips of this, it's a pretty brittle material, so just be careful when you're using it. Lock that in, and then we're just gonna wrap this up towards the bead there. Get a nice little buggy collar on this guy. Just like so. Lock that into place. Trim out the excess. All right, next, next step here. I like to get my fingers wet and kind of preen these fibers down. We're just gonna, just like so. Just down below that bead there. And then I'm gonna fold my flashback back over the top. Cut the excess tinsel out. A couple more wraps of thread to secure it. All right, now we're just gonna give this a whip finish. Like that. And then a little trim up here too. And then last part of this fly is gonna be the resin. I'm gonna put a little bubble back here. And this is the UV solar res in the thin hard. Just like that. Hit it with the light. And then I'm gonna apply one more little drop of this stuff. A little too much there, it's okay. Just like that, I'm gonna hit this with the light. And there you have it, the evil wizard. Um, if you like this video today, please like and subscribe. Uh, you can find all these materials on our website at avamax.com or come visit us in the shop. Thank you.